What makes your computer or phone actually work? That's the job of the operating system. Every digital device you use, from your laptop and phone to ATMs and even spacecraft, runs on an operating system. It's the software layer that manages hardware, runs programs, and gives us a way to interact with the machine. Today, we'll explore the most important operating systems, the ones you see every day, and the ones quietly running behind the scenes. Let's start with Windows. Windows 1.0 was released in 1985 by Microsoft. The first version wasn't even a full OS. It was a graphical shell on top of MS-DOS, which was text-based. The real breakthrough came with Windows 95, which introduced the start menu, taskbar, and plug-and-play support for hardware. Windows kept growing and changing with each release. Windows XP, stable, beloved, and still running on some dusty old office PCs today. Windows Vista. Let's just say people try to forget this one. Windows 7. Fast, clean, and a favorite for years. Windows 8 and 8.1. Microsoft tried to reinvent the wheel with tiles and touch features. But most users just wanted their classic start menu back. Windows 10 brought stronger security, better performance, and became the standard for millions of PCs worldwide. Windows 11 introduced a modern design with rounded corners, a centered start menu, and new features aimed at productivity and gaming. Why is Windows everywhere? Compatibility. It runs on nearly any PC brand and can handle gaming, office work, or development. Windows shines with its huge software library, broad hardware support, and it's often considered the best choice for gaming. But it also comes with higher hardware demands over time, frequent updates that can sometimes disrupt work, and because of its popularity, it's the biggest target for malware. Next, Apple's exclusive system, Mac OS. Introduced in 2001, only for MacBooks and iMacs, Unlike Windows, macOS only runs on Apple hardware, like MacBooks and iMacs. Apple's tight control over both hardware and software makes macOS stable and smooth. It's highly optimized, which is why MacBooks can offer long battery life without sacrificing performance. Plus, the Apple ecosystem makes life easy. Your iPhone, iPad, and Mac sync messages, calls, and files seamlessly. It's popular with creative professionals, thanks to tools like Final Cut Pro for video editing, Logic Pro for music, and built-in apps like GarageBand. On the downside, Apple's machines are expensive, not exactly ideal for gaming, and some professional software is either missing or limited. But not everyone wants Windows or Mac. That's where Linux steps in. Linux was created in 1991 by Linus Torvalds. It's open source, meaning anyone can view, modify, and distribute it freely. It's not one OS, but a family of distributions, or distros. Popular desktop ones include Ubuntu, Fedora, and Mint. Server-focused ones include Debian, CentOS, and Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Linux is free, lightweight, secure, and runs on almost anything, from old PCs to the world's most powerful servers. Google, Facebook, even NASA rely on Linux. It's loved by programmers, cybersecurity experts, and system admins. But here's the challenge. Linux can feel different from Windows or Mac OS, and many distros rely on text commands instead of menus. Another issue is software support. Most mainstream apps and games are designed for Windows or Mac OS, so Linux users often need alternatives. Next, Chrome OS. Google's cloud-focused OS launched in 2011. It's built around the Chrome browser and designed for users who mostly work online. Think of it as Google Chrome, upgraded into a full computer system. Chrome OS is lightweight, starts up in seconds, updates automatically in the background, and is highly secure since most files live in the cloud. You also get access to Android apps. Chrome OS is common in education and offices that rely on Google Workspace. Still, without the internet, it feels very limited. 
It offers fewer desktop applications, and it's not suitable for heavy tasks like gaming or video editing. Shifting to mobile, let's talk Android. Android is the world's most widely used mobile OS. Developed by Google, it's open source and powers devices from budget to flagship. Android allows deep customization, widgets, themes, third-party launchers, and has millions of apps on the Google Play Store. Its weaknesses are inconsistent updates across brands, pre-installed bloatware on some devices, and the fact that certain apps may not run as smoothly as they do on iOS. iOS, Apple's mobile OS, runs only on iPhones and iPads. It's known for stability, smooth performance, and long-term software updates. The App Store is curated with strict review processes that help maintain quality and security. But it also has limited customization, no expandable storage or headphone jack, and, of course, premium pricing. Unix. Unix is one of the oldest and most influential operating systems. It's the ancestor of many modern operating systems. Created in the late 1960s at Bell Labs, it was built for multi-user, multitasking computing. Unix is not for consumers, but runs in industries where reliability is critical. Telecommunications, banking, scientific research, and weather forecasting systems. Example, the US National Weather Service uses Unix to process huge amounts of forecasting data, but it's not cheap. Licenses can cost over $1,400 per user. Big power, big price. BSD, Berkeley Software Distribution. A direct child of Unix, BSD was developed at the University of California, Berkeley in the 1970s as a variant of Unix. Not designed for everyday laptops, but for servers, networking, and embedded systems. Today, BSD systems power PlayStation consoles, Netflix's content delivery network, and secure firewalls like PFSense and OpenSense. BSD comes in versions like FreeBSD, OpenBSD, and NetBSD. Efficient and reliable, but mostly working quietly behind the scenes. Bonus round. Lesser known operating systems. Some operating systems don't get much attention, but they play important roles. Solaris. Sun Microsystems' Unix-based system once huge in enterprises, now mostly legacy. AIX, from IBM, still powering banks, corporations, and research centers. A heavyweight in serious business computing. QNX, runs in cars, medical equipment, and industrial systems where reliability is critical. Haiku OS, an open source project inspired by BIOS. Niche, lightweight, and loved by tech enthusiasts. Conclusion. Every OS has a purpose. Windows, broad compatibility and gaming. Mac OS, optimized for Apple hardware and creative work. Linux, flexible and free, powering much of the internet. Chrome OS, simple and cloud-based. Android, customizable and widespread. iOS, stable with strong ecosystem integration. Unix and BSD, mission-critical systems. Choosing the right OS depends on your needs, whether it's creative work, gaming, server hosting, mobile use, or high security environments. Every digital device you touch relies on an OS. But the real question is, which one runs your world? And which one would you never trust? Tell me in the comments. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss the next deep dive.